and they'll immediately say, I'm not selling my home. Okay, I'm, want, I'm ready for that because as soon as they say that, I'm going to very quickly, very abruptly, very, very harshly say. So I'm getting a lot of comments when I'm making my live calls saying, man, I wish people were that nice where I am. Or if I have a really bad call, they say, oh, that's how every single call goes for me. Well, if you're one of those people making those comments, this video is for you. Okay, so I have two points when it comes to this subject, but before I get into it, I'm gonna give you guys just a second to hit that like button for me. And if you haven't seen me make live calls, here's an example of a call that I have to somebody who I would consider a mean person. Hello? Hey, Miss Wesson. Hello? Hey, this is Ricky Carruth at Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing? And uh, did I call you? No, ma'am, I called you. you. My uh, do you have a Sea Wind hey, unit? What are you calling about? Do you have a I'm sea? Sorry? Do you have a sea wind unit in Gulf Shores? Uh, I don't know that that's any business of yours. I don't know you. Oh, okay. I'm Ricky Cruz with Remax of Orange Beach. I've sold 15 units in the building. I've been here 16 years. Grew up in the area. Local real estate agent. And so, why are you calling me? I was calling to see what Good I could do to help. Congratulations. I was calling to see what I could do to help you. If you are with your condo, if you're thinking about buying something, selling something, if you need help moving a piece of furniture, anything you need, I'm just calling to oh, see. This is a, oh, this is, oh, you, oh, this is a cold call? Well, if that's what you want to call it, I mean, I would more call it a warm call. Yeah. I mean, I, how, did you, how, did you, how did you get my cell phone number? Probably online somewhere. So, like I was saying, I was just calling to see what I could do to help. I'm not calling to sell you anything or anything crazy. Of course not. Yeah, right. Great. Well, actually, I'm in touch with a realtor there. Okay. Manages my property for me. Yeah. So I'm in good shape. No, that is so fan. So that is fantastic. Like. For my, my that's what I was doing. I'm glad you noticed that. Thank you. Have a good day. So I'll be the first to say that that isn't the meanest person I've ever had on the phone. I've had all kinds of mean people hang up, cuss me out, all that good stuff. But this was a recent call I had actually just last week. And after I made the call, I kept making calls and I found deals. I found clients. I got people to give me their email address. I even had a person say they wanted to buy something after the first of the year. But it did illustrate my two key points, which is intentions and communication. So intentions, you have to have the right intentions. And if you know your intentions are 100% pure and that you're there to help somebody, you're there to help people, it doesn't matter what they say. If they get mean with you, if they get a little bit harsh with you, that's almost offensive because look here, sir or ma'am, I'm just here to help you. You can tell me you're mad at me for calling you all you want to, but the fact is, is I'm here to help you. If you don't believe me, if you don't want my help, that's fine, but that's the facts. And you're not gonna tell me otherwise. And the second one is communication, and this is the deep one, okay? This is the one that takes a long time to really work on. It takes experience. You have to make a lot of calls. You have to be in a lot of different situations. You have to feel comfortable in a lot of these awkward situations. And this is what a lot of you guys are missing because you're making 100 calls, 200 calls. You're getting a lot of people mad at you. And then you're just stopping right there in your tracks and saying that this doesn't work in my area. Everybody's mean. You know, we can't do cold calls. It's just not going to work where I'm at. When that is so far from the truth, because when I first started making cold calls, I had the same results. So how do we do it? The first thing you got to do is get out of that mindset that you're in a bad area for phone calls because that's absolutely not true. You just haven't put enough work in and made enough calls to get the experience you need to effectively communicate and know how to handle those situations. So here's a few tips. First thing is be confident in your intentions and why you're calling. When that when that intentions and, and, and that, that confidence is so high, nothing can bring you down. Like I say, you're almost offended when somebody is mean to you or comes at you in a hateful manner. Okay, the second thing is, is I'll call and I'll tell them who I am and they'll immediately say, I'm not selling my home. Okay, I'm, want, I'm ready for that because as soon as they say that, I'm gonna very quickly, very abruptly, very, very harshly say, good, that's not why I'm calling. So be ready for that. That's one I get a lot is people say, I'm not selling my home. You say, good, that's not why I'm calling. Okay, and it kind of breaks it up. It gets their attention. They're like, what's going on here? And then you can say, look, 
I'm not calling for that. I don't, I'm not calling to see if you'll sell your house. I'm just calling to tell you a house down the road sold and to see if there's anything I can do for you. You see how the zero to diamond script works in terms of intent and, and being confident? Because we're not asking them if they wanna buy or sell. So when they come at us like we're trying to sell them something or we're trying to sell their house or we're trying to get them to buy something, it's like, wait a minute, that's not true. I'm calling to see what I can do to help you, okay? I don't wanna know what I can't do for you or what you don't wanna do, okay? What interests me is what I can do to help you what you do want to do, and how I can help you with that. So don't let these mean people get to you. Don't let them stop you in your tracks from making your calls. Don't let them prevent you from the success and your goals and everything. All your dreams are really depending on you developing your skills to talk to people on the phone and see what you can do to help them short and long term. Okay, all of you that are following the Zero to Diamond completely free real estate coaching program, you'll know that it's all predicated on building lifelong relationships to see what you can do to help people now and in the future for the rest of their life. This is where my almost two decades of experience making calls really helps you guys because I've taken everything I've learned over all these calls that I've made and I've created this script that goes a lot deeper than what you think. It's not just a script that you read and then and then you, this is what you say, this is the results. No, it's set up to actually read the person on the phone, you tweak it, you figure out what what works best for you and you learn how to use it to effectively communicate. It gives you the right intentions and it gives you an opportunity to actually have a conversation, right? And to give them a chance to talk back and for you to actually connect and give them that FE effect, that friend or family effect. Now in my market, I'm on a second home vacation investment market on the beach, right on the Florida, Alabama line. And I'm cold calling people all over the country. I'm calling people in New York and California and all these places that people are commenting on my live calls saying, I wish people were that nice here. And it's really been great for me to, to learn how to effectively communicate with people all over the country, not just a specific area. There's also agents in my coaching program in New York and California that are absolutely crushing it using my exact scripts. What you all need to do is get out there and make 5,000 calls and look at it as a practice run. And I guarantee you in those 5,000 calls, you're gonna do deals, you're gonna create future business, and you're gonna get really good at talking on the phone, and that second 5,000 calls is gonna go even better, and you're gonna be crushing it. The bottom line is communication is key. You got to put in the work. Intention is king and relationships are just universal. So I'll end the video on this call back I got from a voicemail during a live call session. You guys enjoy. Reach out if there's anything in the world I can do for you and we'll talk to you soon. This is Ricky. Yeah, this is Robert Harris. Um, I appreciate you calling me, but I prefer that you did yeah. Uh, when I get ready to sell my condo, I've got an agent that I've been working with yeah. for a number of years. Yeah. And don't appreciate my phone being called unexpectedly. Well, I wasn't trying to get you to sell your condo or anything. I was just going to see what I could do to help you, not what I couldn't do for you. Yeah, because I've got an agent that works with me. That's and fine. I never know till I, I'll give her a call. I never know till I call and ask, man. You try to have a good day. Well, if you quit calling, I will. I'll try to do that, man. All right, bye-bye. All right, I am absolutely not going to end on that note. <laughs> All right, let's go.